So I have a word for you, and it's a word. I left out all the spaces. Actually, it's a couple words that I scrunched together, and there's no spaces, so you're going to have to figure out what it's saying. So it looks like one word, but it's actually a few words. Now, here's, here's a one more clue. I want the first way that we read this to be a way that someone without faith would read it. Someone who doesn't know Jesus, who doesn't believe that God is good all the time, how would they read this? Okay, we're going to, that's the first way. And then I'll tell you the second way after we do the first way. All right. Bentley, are you ready? Good. Max, are you ready? All right, here's the word. Actually, it's not a word. It's a few words. How would someone who doesn't believe in God read that? Say it loud, Lily. God is nowhere right? They would say, there's no God. He can't. Have, there's no Jesus. There's no Jesus to forgive me. There's no God who made the world. God's nowhere. He doesn't exist. Huh. But if we look at that with different eyes, with eyes that have faith, right? And we're looking with faith and our heart believes in God. How would a person who believes in God, who trusts in Jesus, read that? God is now here. Yeah, God is now here. See, it all depends on, uh, if you're reading it with faith that believes in God or with unbelief that doesn't. See how different that makes? So I want you to look at the world and everything you see and every word that you read and everything that you do and every place that you go with faith, with eyes of faith. Jesus gives you that gift. He gave it to a blind man today we're going to talk about. And you see, ev when you see everything with faith, it's not scary, Max. Are you ever, do you ever get scared? Yeah, yeah me too. So when we believe Jesus takes care of us and loves us, we don't have to be scared of anything. Not the future, not scary, mean things, nothing. We don't have to be scared of our sins or how bad we feel or if someone might not love us because Jesus always loves us. So look at everything through the eyes of faith. All right, let's pray. Let's pray. Fold your hands, Bentley. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us the gift of faith, for fulfilling your promises and for helping us read, meaning we can read everything in this life with faith because we believe in you. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. All right.